When it comes to watchOS 9.4, I'll be happy to let you know that this update is finally here and it has a bunch of new features and new bug fixes that it has to offer that I would like to share with you in this video. First things first, we start with the update itself. So you can see here for me that on my Apple Watch Ultra, updating from watchOS 9.4, the first beta, this update comes in at 562 megabytes. Now, if we go into our settings and we go to the about set section under general, you'll be able to see the new build number that we have. It's 20T. 253 and that's a final build and let's now talk about some of the new features as well as new changes that are here since there's quite a few that this update introduces the first one has to do with health and afib so if you use your apple watch to detect and track afib history and your heart rate i'll be happy to let you know that on your device if you go into your apple app settings and go to the health app if, if you go to the browse section here, you see that you have this heart section. And if you go down a little bit, you see AFib history. Now, AFib history is basically the representation of how often your heart is in arterial fibrillation or how irregular it is from time to time. And your Apple Watch can track that and it will let you know. So this has been updated to support more regions. And I'll be happy to let you know that Colombia, Malaysia, Moldova, Thailand, and Ukraine support AFib history after approval. That is a plus for those regions. And also when it comes to the Apple Watch, a lot of people use it to track sleep and also just to be able to measure different metrics when it comes to that. So if you are one such person, I'll be happy to let you know that if you go into the sleep focus and you cover your Apple Watch like this, and now wake up alarms are no longer silenced with cover to mute gesture to avoid accidental cancellations while asleep. So just minor software changes and tweaks to help people not miss their alarms when it comes to just a software cover to silence alarm. Now you do have to actually physically silence it so that you avoid the error that a bunch of people were making. If we go back into our iPhone and go to the health app and go to the browse section here and go to where it says cycle tracking right there. If you are a person that uses this, I'll be happy to let you know that cycle tracking with retrospective ovulation estimates and cycle deviation alerts are now supported in Moldova and Ukraine. There's also more changes here. If we go into our Apple Watch app right there, if we open that up and go to the about section, you can see that here you can see about your warranty for your Apple Watch and the coverage that you have and when it's going to expire. But there's also been updates to the latest iOS version that adds a bit of coverage support for this in addition to what we had before. So if we go to this iPhone that has been updated to iOS 16.4 and we go to general and we go to where it says about and you see here it says coverage. If we click there, you can see we have our Apple Watch Ultra and you can also see the same information. So your devices that are on your Apple ID that have coverage or limited coverage will be able to be shown here with this update thanks to iOS 16.4 and the latest software updates from Apple. If you're a person who uses emoji quite a lot, I'll be happy to let you know that this update adds support for new emojis and some of them, you can see them here on my iPhone. There's quite a few new emojis that have been added and just to show you that these are supported on the Apple Watch Ultra or on watchOS 9.4 as well. You can see here, I did talk to Tech Hyped and I sent him some new emojis that came and in total there's about 21 new emojis that have been added and you can see some of them here like the donkey the goose we have the blackbird the shaking head peas and so on and you can see some others on the bigger screen that are depicted here on the iphone that have been added to add support for the latest unicode standard 
that is amazing and also if you are a person that has smart home devices across your home i'll be happy to let you know that there's been update as well to the latest um, apple software updates when it comes to ios watch os and mac os so for example if we go to the home app on the on the iphone here you'll be able to see that this has been updated you can discover more about the new home architecture that has been added when it comes to this and you can also do like a software update or check some of your devices and see if they support the new architecture that has been added with ios 16.4 and watch always 9.4 now also if we go into our settings here and go to where it says sos you can see we have the core after severe crash enabled here and there hasn't been much of a change here it's just more of a background tweak to make this less likely to make errors when this feature is activated as before there were a number of error calls where the watch thought that you were involved in an accident or you had fallen over for some reason so if you're getting a bunch of uh, false notifications for this i'll be happy to let you know that this has been tweaked to try and resolve some of those issues there's also been updates to some accessibilities if you are a person that uses that and those make it better to use your apple watch on watch os 9.4 so mainly you can see those are some of the new features and a few minor bug fixes that are here when it comes to watch os 9.4 you can see there isn't a big big change besides the new emojis that have been added but other than that that's about it for me when it comes to this watch os 9.4 if we look at some of the release notes we have here you can see here we have some resolved issue that have to do with the apple watch series 6 where it was estimating the maximum capacity in inaccurately and that has been resolved we also have some known issues that have to do with medications where sometimes this update might give you the wrong schedule or you might not be able to get the correct updated schedule and we have a few swift ui resolved issues but other than that that's about it for me when it comes to watch OS 9.4 this is half man half tech and thank you so much for watching stay safe and i'll see you in the next video peace